Hi, this is Jennifer Hughes. Welcome to Mom Champ. I am talking today with Steve Nelson of The Piano Guys, along with his wife, Julie, and I've asked them the importance of motherhood. As, as much as, as important as the father is, and as we've seen society sort of torn apart by the absent father, I've always just been so, uh, I feel like there's this incredibly sacred connection between mother and child that, that uh, is like a divine calling that fathers could really, that's, we don't, we don't have that. We just yeah. don't. Yeah. It's, it's yeah. you know, when we're sick, we want our mom. When we're afraid, we want our mom. Uh, <laughs> there, there's that physical connection mm -hmm. in the very formative years of our life that occur in those very first months of conception and even beyond that it just seems like that's like the mother is really the anchor in everybody's soul i think it's that's so it's a wonderful subject that's so deep yeah i love that well thank you for sharing that and i know you guys are such good examples of it and that's why i want to talk to you um you know just i just know you talked about you know you would come home from tour and you would just be like it doesn't matter how tired I am. I'm giving my all to my family right now right. because I've been gone for weeks and they need me right now. And of yeah, course, yeah, you right. get home and you feel like, oh, I'm home. I, now, all that relaxation just kind of kicks right in and you're just like, I can't uh -huh. stay awake another second. No. <laughs> and, and you just power through. And that's, you know, that's really amazing to put aside that time, you know, and tell your kids, you are more important to me, you know, like, to be yeah, it's, to it's one thing off. to say it, but then to do it. And I'm, I give myself a solid B minus, but I'm <laughs> passing. I've got a passing grade, but yeah. uh, I think you've got to ask yourself when and where does it count? When and where is it? Does it really count at work? Does it really? Yeah. Yes, but does it count more at home and does it mean more at home and does it, it really does like if you fundamentally look at so yeah I, I'm killing myself on tour every night every night every night I've got to be on there's three performances a night yeah. it's me it's sound check performance meet and greet then you get on a bus and can't sleep to the next time and then you do it and then we end on a Saturday night and I want to be home for Sunday with my kids, I want to be home to go to church with them. So I catch a 4 a.m. or 6 a.m. flight. Mm -hmm. So I don't get any sleep that last night. So for two or three weeks, I've got no sleep, eating erratically. Then I don't get any sleep that last night. And then I come home. And the, the thing you're talking about is the garage prayer. That's what I call the garage prayer. <laughs> That's when we're coming home from work or when we're coming home from something big. And we don't have anything left. Yeah. We feel totally spent yeah. because we're trying to spend ourselves on our family's behalf, but we're kind of fooling ourselves at the same time because if we spend everything, we have nothing left, then we're not spending it for our family. Yeah. So we do what we can for our family, but when we get home, that's when it really counts. So that's when before I go in, it's either a garage prayer or an Uber prayer. Sometimes I catch an Uber ride <laughs> and it's that, it's that prayer where it's like, okay, God, this, this is where it really counts. I need that extra measure of strength that you've promised me if I put my best foot forward and try to be the best husband and dad I can. This is where it matters. Can you give me a little bit more? And it always comes. And anybody can access that. You, you could be in of any faith, any spirituality. If you meditate, prayer, ponder, and ask, mm -hmm. I think it can come to anybody. Well, and I love that because of that knowledge. If I just ask, it's going to come. I, I'm going to have that extra help that I need because this is the, it's the most uh, noble desire to be an excellent parent, right? To, to just really, uh, because they're first God's children, right? And they're on loan to us. Yeah. So, um, so to want to just, okay, what would God do with these children if he were here? And this is what he would do. He would just really devote his time to them and just make sure that they know you matter you're important to me right so i love that just put it you know i just love that that's such a great um it's such a great attitude to have and practice to do and you know that prayer that you you know that anyone can do as you're coming through the garage just like you said i love that anyone can just say that prayer please help me to be my best here and I think it can be in any area of your life, right? Like, please sure, help absolutely. me to be my best in, in this yeah. area. 
Yeah. And he, he not only says it, but he, he does it and he, he absolutely lives it. And it's tricky, right? He's been gone for two weeks, three weeks at a time. So she's tired too. I mean, it's not just me. So it's, oh, it's that give and take. Who gets that extra time? Who gets (laughs) that extra rest in the morning? I come home, she's like, she wants to hand me the four kids. I would want (laughs) to hand me the four kids if I were, okay, here's all the four kids. I'm going to, I'm going to take off for two weeks. But she knows I haven't been vacationing for two weeks. That actually is really important, you know, to have that empathy. She, she doesn't come home. I don't feel resentment. From right. her, and I think that can kill a marriage, but it also can can really destroy parenting. Is That's if perfect. children sense the that right sense away, yeah. if there's resentment, like if I came home and Julie's like, "Okay, how was tour? You know, did you have fun? You know, I'm so glad you had. You were out on the stage. You know, you were out on the stage entertaining people, and yet so many people saying, "Yay!" She she's never given me that vibe of resentment. You know, there's been times when I've stumbled and she's picked me up and then she stumbles and I pick her up and we, we, we sort of ebb and flow together, Mm -hmm. but to have that support and that empathy, you know, to come home, it could be very easy if I'm just like, oh, I'm so tired. And and she could just say, well, I'm tired and, and (laughs) I don't care if you're tired, you know, so it's just nice to have like, okay, we're, we're both feeling this. And so I'm really grateful for that. I think resentment would destroy our family and and if i were in julie's position i wouldn't be anywhere near as good at it good at (laughs) being away from resentment as she has been yeah well it's really key because you could be like well you've been on vacation this whole time so it's my turn yeah (laughs) oh for sure well and and i bet there are there are moms that feel that that are that are listening to this that say my husband's on a vacation not work or he at least is not dealing with all of this craziness at home and so i am coming I am becoming resentful of that and so to talk that out to communicate and just to make sure that when I get home I really do have to make sure she's getting enough time to heal and and what's the word to sort of just recharge Recharge, and then understand what recharging is for her I know what recharging is for her it's it's exercise and it's quiet time and it's study time, like learning something and being able to be in that bubble. Nature, I know that, getting yeah, getting out in nature, taking walks. Yeah. So, yeah, so it, and I think it's different for everybody, but you know, they, we talk about love languages and maybe we focus on that so much we forget that we should also f- think about the recharge language that are of our spouse too. I think that's critical. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> but that is important because you could, you could think it's one thing and offer that and then mm. when it's not what's needed, um, you know, it, it, it falls flat because it's not the right thing. It's not the thing that speaks to you or, or you know, mm-hmm. really helps you to recharge. So, so yeah. that's really important. Yeah. yeah. And that's how to be a mom champ. You've been listening to some parenting tips with Steve and Julie Nelson on Mom Champ. And be sure to like and subscribe. And I will see you next time.